Frank, it's Benny. Uh, Frank, I got a I got a bad situation here, buddy. I was visiting the Lidai uh, Comfort Center, and I got myself a pretty little girl. She was a pretty little girl, and we had a real good time. A real good time at the time. I felt it was money well spent. But uh, I woke up this morning, and Frank. Frank, I, I tell you, I had this ball. It looked like a ball of fluff, and it was just kind of nestled in my puke. So I get up this morning, and I, I touch. What is this? I touch this ball of fluff, and Frank, the the ball of fluff just started going off in every direction. It wasn't a ball of fluff, Frank. It was it was notorious pubic crabs, Frank. Now this is a clear violation of Texas Penal Code 22.02, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Uh, I, I need some help from the notorious crew to get this taken care of, Frank. What am I gonna do? I've got these these notorious pubic lice here. There's there's I need the cure, Frank. Frank, I need the cure. You gotta help me out, buddy. And, and that, that is, is the, news the news from, from the shining Notorious. star of the Black Rise, Notoros. Treat yourself right. Swing by Notoros, pick up a Garmer and some Quaif Zero, and really let them know that you are out there. So I was following up to the aggressive pubic lice tip that we received from Vinegar Duche. I, I took a walk through the Lie Dye Red Light District, and I came up empty on the crabs. But I did notice a troubling new storefront. There's a new shop in Lie Dye selling lifelike, dog-shaped sex toys. Now they go on and on about how these dog-shaped sex toys are for dogs. And here's the thing, I just, I just don't believe that these dog-shaped pocket pussies are for dogs. So I went to the website. The website, I shit you not, is called offloaddogsboner.com. But it doesn't matter how many reasons they provide to me that my dog needs a dog-shaped sex toy. I will believe, until it is proven otherwise, that these dog-shaped sex toys are being sold to deranged capsuleers who just are not able to be honest with themselves about how they want to fuck a dog. And my worry is that once these degenerates fuck a dog-shaped sex toy, then what? We all know what that's going to lead to. I think anyone who makes a purchase in that store should be put on a watch list like a kid who kills cats. I mean, this is future serial dog rapist shit going on here. And I, I'm not trying to pass any judgment on kinks or fetishes. And of course, Lie Die is the place to pursue such endeavors. But I'm still going to bring it up at the next system council meeting. And if I find anybody fucking my dog, I'll cut a motherfucker. You know, you know what I mean? I'll cut a motherfucker where they can't scream and I'll leave them in the street. If that's the way it has to be. After an emergency meeting of the Notoros System Council, I was asked to draft a letter to the wormhole police. It was made clear during the meeting that the chief of police in wormhole space had gone missing. Evidence was provided by several parties and it was decided to probe the situation with the Notoros police and our dicks. I drafted the letter personally, the investigation was launched, and the email was sent immediately. Missing Persons Report to Vinegar Duche. I'd like to report that one Chief Vinegar Duche has been missing in action 
for the last several days. And I do mean several days. I have it on good authority that Chief Duche has not filled out a crime report in at least five days. The Notoros Police and the Dicks of Notoros are each conducting an independent investigation to find out if there has been any wrongdoing, misconduct, or malfeasance. If the person reading this has assumed the persona of, or taken mind control of, one Chief Vinegar Duche, let me warn you that if the Notoros police find you before anyone else does, you will wish that King fucking Kong had torn you a new asshole. Warmest regards, Mr. Monopoly. Frank. Frank, it's Benny. Frank, I, I've got a distressing story, Frank. I was in the Taurus, and uh, I noticed that you got a new pet store there, Frank. So I stopped in, and I was looking at the animals, and you know, I was thinking to myself, fuck, it gets pretty goddamn lonely in space. I can't get Jesse Fox to pay any attention to me. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to get myself a pet. And I walk into this pet stop, and, and they're not like real dogs. Well, fuck, maybe real dog is an apt description for these things after all was said and done, but I'm getting ahead of myself, Frank. Frank, I, I go into this pet store, and it seems to be like robot pets. And I said, what can be better? It's not going to shit all over the floor. This is fucking perfect. So there was some heaven and hawn, and I tell you, they acted super sketchy. I should have known right up front. I should have known. So finally, they're trying to show me all these dogs that have got some sort of mange issue on the backside there. I said, no, I want myself a nice German Shepherd or maybe an Amar Slaver Hound. And uh, he, he brings me into this back room like it was some kind of shady deal. And he introduces me to this Amar uh, Slaver Hound. And uh, the thing looked really mean, but uh, it had a pretty good temperament. I patted him on the head and he growled at me. And I said, yeah, we're going to be good friends. So I paid the man an exorbitant amount of money. He kept giving me strange fucking looks, too. And I get this fucking dog home get him home, and I look at on his collar, he's got this little gold round tag on it, and it's got his fucking name on it, you know what the fucking thing's name is, King fucking Kong is the name of this goddamn Amar Slaver Hound, and we hit it off pretty good, we were sitting in the comfy chair, Amar Slaver Hound by my side, watching episodes of the Canadians Cops, it, it's like American cops, except they're really nice and they'll like drive you home if you're fucked up uh, instead of taking you to the jail. And we're sitting there watching that thing and I'm dozing off. And the next thing I fucking know, I've got King fucking Kong's cock in my goddamn face and the dog's trying to fucking rape me. I had to put 18 fucking bullets in this thing to save my ass from this fucking thing. Now, Frank, you need to get your people down to this goddamn pet store. It's not a pet store, Frank. It's some kind of shady fucking real dog store. In sports news around the Oka Koala constellation, we see lots of good fights. Lots of good points totals. Saint Lucifer out in a dramatic.